all I want to say is the people who say that we, we, are, um, we mediators are, um, are blending or mushing or making soft these very tough problems of social justice, um, that it is a critique. It's perfectly valid. I think they go too far, in my view, because I always say, what's the baseline? What are we comparing mediation to? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think they're being very rigorous in looking at what uh, the litigation model has been accomplishing in the world thus mm -hmm. in the last in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. We haven't had those great victories in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, I live in Washington now, and uh, the building that's three blocks from where I teach um, is undergoing a rather large transformation at the moment. So I don't want to make it entirely partisan, but I do think that some of the values that were important to me as an mm -hmm. a social activist are, mm -hmm. are less expressed in the formal justice system. Mm -hmm. And you can hear in me to the extent to which I am someone who does um, want things to change and want to do it by persuading people in a peaceful way, I actually think we get more done. Mm -hmm. um, we, get more, we accomplish more in mediation when the parties can actually engage with each other. And arrange a solution themselves. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, you know, sometimes we need a command from a judge. Uh, mm -hmm. There are categories of cases. Um, but I would go so far as to say there's almost no case that I can think of right now that wouldn't benefit from some effort to get the parties to sit down mm -hmm. and talk about what's at stake and try mm -hmm. to work it out together mm -hmm. before we get to that stage. Well,